my name is Ronan Nocton and I'm a Banislow resident. I was surprised to learn about so many uh, businesses that are resident over in the Enterprise Centre. I think it's over 160 people in, in, uh, employed there. Um, I guess I learned today that they, uh, their work is under three pillars, tourism, sustainability and also healthcare. Um, I think the thing that shocked me the most was that we've got a karst landscape on our doorstep out in Tom McConnell and there's huge potential there. Absolutely, I think Banislow has got great potential, especially in the um, tourism space with the, for Banislow to be a hub, uh, given the uh, hidden heartlands and the waterways and the Ireland's ancient east, we're really in the centre of all that. I think uh, Banislow has the opportunity to bring young people back to the community, young families, and um, with remote working and our transport infrastructure, uh, there's great opportunities to bring people to Banislow. Hi, um, my name is Breach Lines and I'm involved with the Contusker Community Development Group, the Heritage Group, and the Roseway Walking Club as well. Um, well, the thing I was most surprised about was the man mentioned the karst landscape that was 330 million years old near the town. I, I'd never even heard of it. And then he, even, he said it was in Totten Cull. We didn't, people around me were saying, where? Where? We didn't, we didn't even know that. So that was a, a big surprise to learn about the local area. Um, it seems to be very good, especially on the energy and um, the, the production of that new building in the town and um, how many businesses are working in the Enterprise Centre. Um, they seem to be doing great work. Um, I think the amount of houses, the 66% of houses are dependent on oil and peat and that we have such a low uh, BER rating compared to the rest of the country for the housing. It, it looks good that there are so much things being um, done, especially in tourism and in health areas. I think that's great work. I think there was one huge area not mentioned and that was Garbley and it's surrounding Parkland. I think like Westport has Westport House, Banasso has that house. Um, if they could in any way get to use it or to use the Parkland, it could be a place like Dunnashi in, in Moat, which is a big Parkland and Heritage Centre and Genealogy Centre. Um, I think it's a massive missed opportunity not to be able to use Garbley for the whole community. My name is Frances Lee and I live in Banasso. Um, I suppose the, even though I, I've known obviously that the Enterprise Centre is in Korea for, for a long time now, but to actually learn that there's 170 or 180 people employed there in various different businesses um, within the town is absolutely fantastic. It's a real hub of activity and industry out there. The amount of work they do, um, the, the scale of the work they do, everything from um, obviously the Enterprise Centre, the town team, the enhancing of the town itself, activities, the Christmas lights. Um, there's such a wide scale of work that they undertake and so much work being done as well, obviously on a volunteer basis, that it's absolutely fabulous to hear that. Um, well, Anita Colleen delivered a presentation on sustainability and to learn that there's about 55% of the houses in Ballinasloe built pre-1990 which brings the, the BR rating to about a D1 um, in the town with the average BR, BR rating in the country at, at C2, I believe. Um, it means obviously there's a lot of work to do um, going forward and obviously sustainability is something that everybody is interested in these days. More than confident, there was a, a great attendance tonight, which is great to see. And um, the BACD have so much work done to date and going forward between the, the various plans that they have um, regarding Valdeslow being um, a tourism hub um, and all the work they have done regarding bringing employment to the town and with, new, with the new chambers now, the bank chambers in Society Street um, creating a hub there as well. Um, there's a lot of, um, a lot of, I have a lot of confidence in what they've done.